Hi, my name is Dexter. I'm a doctor and a dementia researcher, and I'm making some videos about genealogy. And this is the first one. I'm not quite sure where I want to take things with this, but I thought I'd just start off with a little bit about me and how I got into genealogy. So I was born and grew up in the British Virgin Islands on the island of Tortola. And this is at one of about 50 islands, um, depending on the tide or, well, climate change. Uh, and we are one of the British overseas territories. I had a few experiences that led me to want to learn a little bit more about my, my family because I sort of knew a few things here and there, but I, I'm like many of you uh, where I know my parents and um, some of my grandparents and I'm really fortunate to have spent some time with them, but I didn't really know much more other than that. And it took a few uh, really big things um, happening to really focus my mind a bit. First one was Hurricane Irma. So back in September 2017, my hometown was hit by what was at the time the strongest Atlantic storm that ever existed. Really, we're talking sustained winds of 180 miles an hour with gusts going up to 200 miles an hour and they took a direct hit and this was a catastrophe really and I remember speaking with my dad who was about 82 at the time I was on the phone um, with him and um, things had really started to, to ramp up with the, with the storm and there was some of this noise in the background and then he said, um, so I've got to go. Um, it's actually got really bad now and there's a lot of water coming through the ceiling. And then at that moment I thought, oh my God, is, this, is it possible that this is the last time I'm gonna speak to my dad? And that really brought home you know, a lot of things. Uh, and then I lost contact um, with with all of my family for several days, which was an obvious traumatic event and something that um, I will never forget, really. <laughs> um, but that experience really made me realize, you know, how important my family and understanding that, how that really um, affects me, because I was sort of feeling a bit sort of like, well, I thought someone else would be the one to you know, have all of this information. And um, this experience really focused my attention on, on, on this area. And also uh, my parents have, they're, they're getting older now and they are at this point where just realizing um, their frailty as well as that of some of my, my other extended family. And just understanding that, well, this is an opportunity to, to be better connected with them. It's the reason why I decided to do more um, on this and to understand more about my, my, my genealogy. Now, after that point, I just wrote down everything that I knew and then spoke with other relatives. And um, several years later, here I am in the 18th century, which is like... <laughs> um, and, um, it's something that I didn't really expect because of a lot of misconceptions that exist about tracing your Caribbean ancestors. And I'd like to do these videos to help you and other people understand uh, you know, how they can do it too. So I've had lots of um, you know, benefits from doing this research and I am a much more confident person after doing this, I'm a lot calmer and less anxious and I'm, I feel much more connected to my, my family and especially during the pandemic when all of us have been separated for so long, this really gave me a, an, an outlet to be able to have something you know, that's not the 
p-word to to talk about um, with them so i've had a really great time talking to my, my parents and some of my cousins going into into this um this, this history and all learning together and I think understanding that context of where everyone's come from has been so important in terms of my identity as a West Indian person living in, in, in Britain today. And I think there are many others out there that are you know, trying to understand that world and how everything has sort of changed because gone um, through through the history to understand things that pretty much you know where I'm from it started off uh, occupied and inhabited by indigenous people and then we then ended up into pirates and then into enslavement and then this um, sort of in-between period where people were just doing subsistence fishing and farming to it being a place where rich people go on holiday which is still a bit odd given the, um, that sort of history so um, loads and loads to learn from from doing this and the records are there and you just got to look at them and 2021 this is it's never been such a good time to do your family history research as you are from the west indies or have roots there and it is just amazing what's available and i will share more of this information in um, more videos. My aim really is to help you to explore your past so that you have a better compass for pointing you into your future. And this is something that I've benefited from and I just wanted to share this with, with others I've been talking to some of my family and I realise that a lot of people don't necessarily have this kind of um, um, knowledge about their family and um, you know it is hard work but it's so satisfying and some of the stories they've been way more interesting than watching any um, any series actually and um, I've uh, I guess maybe I've turned into that um, that annoying person that's always asking for all these questions but um, it's actually in a you know coming from a, a good place and um, it's something that's um, not related to my, my work or my research or any of my, 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 my business and it is something that is really something really special that I can share with the rest of my family and hopefully um, pass this down and I'm just making sure that I document everything well so that um, it will um, last so thank you for watching and if there's anything um, that you found really interesting about this please comment and let me know and um, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks! Bye!